hello guys welcome back to innovative design tutorial so guys today we are going to create this piping spool in solid work i hope you will enjoyed our tutorial so in this video i will uh, create the spool uh, with the branch of spool by uh, help of t reducer flange so this is the basic tutorial i hope you will uh, learn a more uh, about piping in solid work so let's see how we do this and create this spool in solid work thanks for watching so here we have just to uh, clarify and uh, create this uh, design in solid work so here we have to create this one so go to the file select assembly and change the background to plain white okay now we go to the here we go to the design library first we go to the mbd select solid was routing select this one and here uh, the window is open for piping pop-up is open so look we have to just wait for a minute so look here uh, select this piping So here go to the uh, start by drag. So so here go to the design uh, piping routing. Select the flange. So here we will keep flange. now we save this one okay so here we just uh, we have to just create three inch uh, line so we select pipe three inch schedule we will keep 40 and uh, 90 degree lr radius okay so we uh, just select this spool and now you have to enlarge the length of this pipe so simply uh, we do not uh, create line we just select this point and drag like this so it will automatically uh, drag okay so uh, select this line okay so here we just we have to apply the reducer so go to the reducer select this one and select uh, up to this point we will keep the reducer 3 inch into 2 inch and we will keep the schedule 40 okay now here uh, 2 inch line are created like this so here we apply the end flange so we will uh, apply this flange SORF flange of uh, 50 MB we will say it is also uh, uh, 2 inch and uh, rating will be 150 ok now exit this procedure now press uh, escape key ok now here is time to apply the T to this elbow uh, nearby the elbow so go to the T here we select straight equal T now we have to just uh, drag to
constraint to this line okay we we if you want to change the direction press with shift uh, type key not shift key here we will uh, make this 3 inch and schedule 40 now if you want uh, this one we will uh, make this uh, line uh, below side so we have to just change the direction here we will keep this angle 270 okay now here uh, we have to just uh, change the direction of this uh, line so we will uh, drag and change constraint direction like this one so again uh, we have to just select this and drag like this one and we have to create a line to align to this one so go to the line select line here we uh, we have to select line select this point create up to here ok now here is time to apply flange so go to the flange and select slip on weld flange here the sizes will be 3 inch and rating class will uh, 150 ok so here is time to apply the dimension fully uh, dimension is uh, applied uh, we have to just create the prototype of this uh, spool then after we apply the dimension so select this face of this flange to this point here we will uh, keep the length 845 mm ok now again we have to just uh, put the length from uh, T to this line uh, length so we have to just select this point and this point here we will uh, keep the length this one we will keep 747 mm ok so it looks fine so again we have to just uh, apply the dimension other another ok now we select this line and here we if you not find this one we have to just select this point this one if you not work we will press tab key so it will uh, consider in align, uh, same alignment ok so here we uh, make this gap 200 mm from this T to this uh, flange pipe look so again select this point and this flange face ok so here we will uh, make this dimension so we will keep it 800 sorry not 800 983 ml from this ok now again we just forget to apply the dimension from this uh, reducer to uh, center point to this uh, face of this 2 inch line uh, flange so we have to put the dimension so So here we uh, make the distance from this pipe to this flange to this line. We will keep it 469 mm. Okay. So look how we uh, just apply the dimension to this one. Now again we just uh, here we. 
put the dimension from the center point of this radiator to flange make it 100 mm from this center distance okay so look how we create this spool in solid works i hope you will enjoyed our tutorial and please like and subscribe our channel for more video and project thanks for watching and have a nice day thank you